In this video, we're going to be learning how to create amazing magazines or books using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So without any further delay, let's get started and let's see what we're going to be building. Here is what we're going to be building in this video. So this is more like a book which you can click or you can also drag something like this. And then you can see that we have cool images of Pokemons and this looks really neat very clean like a realistic book so we're going to be building this in this video stick around till the end download the source code from the description and without any delay let's get started here i am in my index.html file where i have created the entire broiler plate now we'll start off by linking our style sheet and then we'll add the two most important javascript libraries that are needed for this amazing book effect. First is jQuery and then the second one is turn.js. Now this turn.js is basically a JavaScript lightweight library which depends on jQuery to create amazing interactive page flipping effects which is really perfect for creating digital books, magazines, portfolios and whatnot. Now if you want to download these two files, the source code is in the description wherein you'd find these two files or if you want the CDNs I would link the official websites of these two separately down below so you guys can go there and add the CDN. Now we'll start off inside the body we'll create a div with the class of flipbook and then we'll create the cover. So the cover has this hard predefined class which is included in the library so for the front or the first cover that we have so it has two faces the front and back so we'd add two hard divs for the front page or the front cover and then for the back cover we'd have another two hard divs for the front and back and then for the front front cover would add this my pokemon gallery and then with a small tag saying hang the tank and then for the back would add saying thank you and then with a small saying hang the tank now after that is done, we'll start off with the first page with just empty div and no classes. Now whenever you're using this turn.js, make sure to leave the divs empty with no classes because jQuery automatically adds the different classes. So here you would add the small with some text and then another small with some other text. And then the next page is from where we started the adding the different images. So we have the div, we have image, and then the name of the Pokemon, in this case Charmander. And then I'll paste in the different pages that we have for Arbok, Pikachu, Mew, and Darkrai. And that's all for the HTML. Now to make it actually work, what you need to do is you need to add a script tag right beneath. And here you're going to target the flipbook using this dollar sign which when you add this jQuery, you would obviously be able to add and then call this turn function and that's all. So if we look at the flipbook now, it looks really ugly. So we need the CSS to make it look really neat and good. So to get that started, we'd import the font family of pop-ins, add that and also remove the default margin padding and set the box sizing to border box. Now inside of the body, we want everything at the center. So we add display grid and place content to center, give the body a 100 viewport width and height and remove any overflow if there is and set the background to yellow color. Then the flip book, we give it a width and height and then the cover that we had for the flip book, we'll give it a red background and change the color of the text to white. And then also we'd add some font weight and play with the border so we'd remove the border or if you need you can add and then we'd add some styling to the small tag and then we'd move to the page now for each page we'd want the background to be white and then we'd want everything to be stacking but at the center so we'd add flex box and add the direction to column with justify and align items to center then we want some gapping, so we want the gap to be 10 pixels and give it a border. Now we target the image, we give it a width of 70% and then since we want it to take the full, so we give the object fit to cover and set it at the center using margin auto. And then the small tag inside of the page, 
we set it font size to 14 pixels and margin bottom of 10 pixels and there we have it hope you guys like this video hope you guys learned something new make sure to download the source code from the description play with it add your own styles own flipbooks and yeah that's it thanks for watching meet you guys in the next till then bye bye